final leg. Back for another week in track and field. Not so many huge highlights from the weekend, but a couple notable performances. Starting off with the NCAAs, Chris Nielsen competes for South Dakota. He's already been having a great indoor season. He managed to get out to an NCAA record in the pole vault, 5.93 meters. Huge performance that's really significant because it breaks the NCAA record Mondo Duplantis set last year. So very, very significant performance. Likely the favorite going into NCAA champs. A lot of guys are really doing well in the pole vault, but Nielsen is the clear favorite and he's going to be looking to defend his outdoor title as well later on this year. So keep a lookout for Chris Nielsen. Now moving over to the track, we had Bartley, the senior at Texas Tech. In that 200 meters, he managed to get out to a season's best of 20.61 seconds, makes him number four in the NCAA this season. Really strong performance because it puts him in the mix with the other guys who are really at the top of their game in the 200. A lot of guys, the top four, five, six guys are in the same range in that 200. So NCAA champs in a couple weeks is going to be really hot in that 200 meters. So keep a lookout for it. Now, moving up to the 400 meters, we have Quincy Hall from South Carolina. A little bit low key this indoor season, not as fast as he's been running, but in the 400 meters, he got out to a season's best of 45.99 seconds. Ranks him number five indoors right now in the NCAA, but we're going to see what he's able to do when we get to conferences and at NCAA champs. And of course, outdoors, we know what he's able to do at those 400 meter hurdles. So keep a lookout for Quincy Hall. Now, back in the field, we had Brenton Foster, the senior at Virginia. In that men's high jump, he got out to a season's best of 2.26 meters. Great performance that makes him number four in the NCAA this season. So starting to get into the mix of the people who are going to be challenging for a title spot at NCAA champs. Also, we had Kayla Dawson. She's a senior at Indiana. In the women's shot put, she managed to get out to a best of 17.56 meters, making her number five in the NCAA this season. So great performance for her, moving her up in the NCAA ranks. Finally, in the women's weight throw, we had Rachel Tanzo. She's a junior at Notre Dame. She got out to a best of 23.31 meters in that weight throw. Great performance for her. Makes her number one in the NCAA this year and is one of the best throws in the weight throw in NCAA all time. So great performance for her. We're definitely going to see her challenging for the title spot at NCAA champs indoors. Now a couple results on the pro side of things. First off, Wade Van Niekerk. A lot of people have probably heard already. Last week, he started his seasons off on the grass. This weekend, though, he started things off and finally got back on the track. 100 meters, he managed to run 10.10 seconds. And then in the 200 meters, he got out to a best of 20.30 seconds. Not super, super fast performances, but this is really significant because the last time that we've seen him run was the 2017 season. We know that he got injured in the season after that, so wasn't able to compete through 2018 or 2019. So this is really a good start. Of course, the world record holder in the 400 meters, the defending Olympic champion. So he's definitely starting things off on a good note, looking like he's going to be more healthy during the season. And hopefully, don't think he's going to get to the world record, but I think he's definitely going to get down into the 43 second range. So definitely keep a lookout as he progresses through the season. Now back indoors for the pros, we had Tamari Davis. She's a high school athlete who just went pro with Adidas. She ran the 60 meters and managed to run 7.20 seconds. Great performance, which is just a hundredth of a second off the best that she set earlier this season, which was the high school national record for the United States. So great performance for Davis, already setting things off on a high note for her first pro race as an Adidas athlete. Finally, have to talk about Mondo Duplantis. He was competing in the pole vault again this weekend, managed to get out to a best of 6.01 meters. So really strong performance, of course, not the world records that he set the past couple weeks, but this is a fifth performance in a row that he's gone over six meters, one of the best in history. So Mondo Duplantis really cementing himself as one of the greatest pole vaulters. He's super young and has a lot more to go, so keep a lookout for him. All right, so those are just some of the highlights from the action this past weekend on the track and in the field. I probably missed tons of results, so please go in the comments below. Let me know any other results that I probably missed. Let me know what your favorite performances from this past weekend was. And also on Wade Van Niekerk, let me know if you think he's going to be able to defend his title in Tokyo this year. Let me know if you think he's going to get close to his world record, or even if you think he's going to break 44 seconds, all right? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again in the next video. Thanks.